Cause you barely got your money, girl, and all Don't play with a boss, uh, girl, take it all, uh Target for a real one, you won't get it all Is it really about your body or not? Can you really take that? Thank you so much for watching this Angel TV where we talk about everything And when I say everything, I mean everything like Bitch, we about to do five motherfucking days of story times Like five whole days Every day of those five days, I'm gonna have a story to share with you Okay Alright, so as you can see by the title, this is going to be about how my mama called me having sex. Like, she, yeah, bitch, she called me having that pussy open for a real nigga. Well, not a real nigga, but she, y'all know what I mean, okay? Yeah, it was the beginning of sophomore year, I believe, I think. And, um, I moved to these new apartments. The last apartment that I was before, this apartment was apartments that I lost my virginity at. And my mama called herself trying to move or whatever to get me away from the guy that I lost everything to. She thought that it was going to stop me from having sex or stop me from doing things that I wasn't supposed to be doing. But she thought wrong. Y'all, I know I was like a rebellious ass. I don't know if I was rebellious or I don't know what it was. I was, I just wasn't a good child. Like, I wasn't bad. Like, I didn't talk back to my mama or anything like that. But, like... I was fast, let's just put it like that, I was a fast ass little girl. So, um, so I was friends with Benches with this guy, he went to my school, he was a senior at the time. Um, he had a car and everything, girl, like... <laughs> a car? What at the time? At the time, it wasn't really common for people to have cars unless she was like a senior. Even if you were a senior, a lot of seniors didn't have cars. We rode the bus. I almost brought us to malls, moving to wherever we needed to go. We got dropped off to, but this guy, we're gonna call him Chocolate, okay? Cause he was, he was chocolate, like he was nice and chocolate okay so um chocolate we would text or whatever because he was a football player and i was on dancing that time we would dance like prep rallies and stuff like that and that's how i eventually uh met him yo i had a curfew okay like my phone cut all the way off at 10 30 p.m sharp okay not 10 31 not 10 30 10 30 bitch okay and i couldn't text i couldn't call um i couldn't get on the internet none of that on my phone but a bitch had an iPod at the time, you know, the iPod touches, you know, they were very, very popular back then. And uh, I had one, so they had this app, this texting app, where you could text people, you could call people, um, as long as you got credits to call, but texting was unlimited. And you know what I did, bitch, connect to that motherfucking Wi-Fi and get to texting after 10.30. Like, I'd be like, I forgot what the excuse was for me to be texting from another number. I forgot, I probably lied and made up something, girl. I don't know. But I would be texting chocolate on the iPod after 10 30. So this one night, um, was it a, no, it was the summer. It was the summer actually. So damn. So even after the summer, I would still have that curfew on my shit. Damn, mama. Anyways, <laughs> we texting or whatever. And I had already been sneaking out the house before this situation occurred. Like, I would sneak out the house and go with my friends places and stuff like that like I just did it because I didn't have a screen on my window all I had to do is put my motherfucking window up and leave and I like put my window down like not all the way but just down a little bit um to where I can you know come back in the house but I would have to be really really quiet because I had a loud ass little ass dog that dog would bark after every motherfucking noise like every noise you hear you make you can fucking drop a goddamn pencil on the motherfucking ground and that dog is burning out i hated that dog that's probably why i don't want dogs now because that dog just that dog fucked my life up like she she tried to get me caught up well she did get me caught up but chocolate texted me chocolate was like can i come over mind you he was basically grown i think he was probably like 17 or 18 and he had a car so he could have basically did anything that he wanted to so he asked me like can i come over and i was like Then I thought about it, I was like, hmm, I always sneak out or whatever and I never get caught, so I could just sneak him in and just make sure we're not making no noise or whatever. So that's what I did, I gave him, and he came or whatever, pulled up my window, came in, so y'all. He came, and mind you, I had a lot of bed. Like, I had a spring mattress, so every sudden move you make in the bed, like, you hear it or whatever. But it was normal for my dog to bark whenever I would move around in my bed because, like, my mom already knew my bed was loud as hell. My mom already knew that my dog bark at every single thing, so it was no biggie at the time, okay? It wasn't a big deal at the time. So I would turn the TV up, kind of, like, blend in the noise or whatever. Or whatever. I don't know what happened. He ended up having sex. Not any type of way. It was a lazy way. Like, 
you know how you don't really feel like getting up or taking your pants off or anything like that. You just be laying down with your significant other or whatever, and you be laying down with your, with your ass tooted up and stuff and you know and shit like that. And you know you pull your pants on, you pull the pants on, and y'all just go go to town. On, on, on y'all side, on y'all left side, the right side, whatever side y'all decide to do it, that's how y'all do it. And so, <laughs> it's so crazy. So that's how we did it. We did it the lazy way. Now, mind you, y'all, my bed was squeaky, but it was always squeaky. Mom already knew it was always squeaky. So I didn't think nothing of it, okay? So we did it or whatever, and my dog started barking. Okay, little bitch. Shut your ass up. That's what I'm saying. She was a female and she was a dog. So that night, she was little bitch. Little bitch. Be quiet. That's what I was thinking in my head. So mind you, like I said, I didn't think nothing of it because she always barked. It wasn't first, second, third, fourth, fifth time that she barked. She barked pretty much every single night. My mama knew that I always would be up at night, um, late, watching TV and shit like that. So it wasn't nothing. So I thought, you know, we kind of got tired, so we had to stop. We stalled for a little while, and we were just laying there. We were the, the dick was still laying, or whatever. Excuse my language. But we were just laying there. We had time to take a break and stuff. And all of a sudden, my door opens. Mind you, my door didn't open all the way. It was open a little bit to where, you know, it was dark. All you could see is a little black darkness in between the door, but it, it didn't open that much. Like, it was open maybe like this much. I look at the door. I'm like, okay. And then the door closed back. Well, it didn't close all the way. It was pushed back a little bit, but it didn't close. So I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, baby. I don't know this motherfucking ghost. I don't know this the ghost, the lords of somebody opening my motherfucking door to tell me, bitch, you need to stop doing that and uh, what I don't know, what the weather like gotta go. Okay, bye bye. So my phone only works when my mama. Like mom was the only person that could call check me petty as fuck, right? <laughs> but I get a text message and she was like, If he's not out of my house in five minutes, I'm gonna call the cops. And y'all, when I saw that shit my heart like it felt like i pissed out my my heart like my heart went all the way down and i just pissed that shit out because that's how motherfucking scared i was like i was scared for the motherfucker because i just i just got called fucking basically like i just got called doing some shit that i had no business doing and my mom went up, like she blew my cover like i'm like damn like, i'm not gonna ever be able to sneak people in the house i'm not gonna ever be able to sneak out the house oh my god okay so I text her back and I was like, already done. That's all I said, already done. She didn't respond back or nothing like that. <laughs> My friend lives with us as well. I just want to know where I don't like that bitch. Fuck you. Um, but <laughs> My friend lived with us and I guess she didn't want her to know what happened. So she didn't take my phone or anything. Um, we didn't even talk about it. We didn't even have a discussion about it. Literally, y'all. We didn't even talk about it after that. And my birthday was like a week or so later. Uh, and my mama just gave me a birthday cake and the Drake Thank Me Later CD. Yeah, that was that long ago. Uh, Thank Me Later came out. I wanted a CD. She had bought it for me for my birthday. And that was it. Like, she probably would have did more for me. But being that mine, she got caught fucking. She probably like, bitch, fuck no. <laughs> the fuck? you subliminally punished like you know she didn't want people to know or she didn't want her friend to know uh, i don't know if she was embarrassed i don't know what it was she just didn't want her to know so we didn't discuss it or anything all i know is i just got a cake and a cd from her birthday which i shouldn't even got that like really it felt my daughter i'm taking shit i'm taking your phone i don't give a fuck who knows so today as an adult we never had a conversation i don't think we had a conversation about it ever i don't know but like a week or two later my dumb ass tried to do it again i actually tried to sneak out this time and <laughs> the, 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 it was the same guy chocolate i was just gonna sneak out and we was gonna i don't know where we was gonna go probably to his house or something like that i don't know it was like i'm outside so i already was dressed and everything girl i pulled them off the blinds up and pull that window up and i saw that motherfucking screen on that window i was like god damn my mama trapped me she said oh no bitch you're not gonna sneak out my motherfucking house no more i have a whole screen on my door mind you i didn't have a screen on my door before that was the only reason i was able to sneak people in and out because i didn't have a screen on my window at the time but girl she called that motherfucking office and was like please put a screen on my daughter's window 
ASAP. And they did. And I was like, and I'm like, this man came all the way over here for me, and I can't even get out the motherfucking house. So I was like, <laughs> I was looking at the end of the window over there, trying to see if there was any type of way that I could bust through, but I couldn't. So I lied, made up a lie, and said, I forgot what I said. I don't know. It was a lie. Clearly, because I wasn't gonna say, "Oh, I'm gonna put a screen on my window." I wasn't gonna do that. Um, and he left or whatever. We were still cool for a little while after that. But y'all, that's how my ass got caught fucking. Y'all, moral of the story is: wait until you are grown. Don't be no teenager trying to sneak niggas in the house because you know what's gonna happen. If your mama or your daddy find out that you sneak people in the house, they have the right to shoot their motherfucking ass. And you don't want. Your boo or your side nigga, whoever the fuck, snuck in your house, you don't want them to die. So, to prevent that, just don't sneak people out and then, like, don't do that. Like, don't even sneak out because you don't want nothing bad to happen and your mama and your daddy are like, oh my god, she was just in the house, where the fuck she at? You don't want that to happen, so just don't do it, don't learn from me, bitch. Okay, I'm not sharing these stories just to be funny or cute or nothing. I'm sharing these stories because I got a lot of young little girls watching this video who is the, around that age 15 16 all that y'all don't do it what till you get grown like it's not worth it just don't you shouldn't even be fucking anyway but if you want to have sex you want to be grown don't do it that way <laughs> okay so that's how my ass got caught trying to be slick and stuff i hope y'all like day one of story time and the story are only going to get juicier so if you're not subscribed yet go ahead and subscribe right now because y'all y'all don't want to miss out on the tea, okay? Because Angelique like, had an interesting life. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget to subscribe and comment if you have any similar experiences. I want to know because it will make me feel so much better if I'm not the only person who went through something like that. <laughs> so, um, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye, bitch. So honestly y'all, that was the very first time that I contemplated whether or not I wanted to go to jail because I was like, I do not want my mom to find out about this, like, I don't know, who gonna pick me up from jail? I don't know. <laughs> I really was like, I'm probably just gonna take jail for 300 cents, Bob, whatever the man on Jeopardy name is. Thank you. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How about you and all your morals in that outfit that you borrowed? Make the most out of tonight and worry about it all tomorrow. Understand, girl, we fam, girl. Can't get me right and I do Wayne. Cash money, young money, hot champagne. Presidential sweet girl, Barack Hussein. Tell me, can we kick it like Ali Shai?